Today we're looking at lesson 16 and it's kind of a new section of the module in terms of moving from multiplication to division. So we talked about this kind of at the beginning of the school year that if you're multiplying by 10 you're actually just gaining place values because you'd have 1 times it and then you'd add your zeros. Dividing by 10 is just the opposite of that ends up what happens. Let's take a look. I'm going to go ahead and actually kind of do some place value chart here, what you're used to from some time ago. Um, we're going to be using some colors also too to kind of help out here. Um, in this case, if we have something in the hundreds place, it's going to be red. And we have, this is ones, tens, hundreds, we have 300 and they're over here. What we're doing is we're dividing by 10. So we know that if we have 10 tens, it gets us 100. And so if we're saying 10 tens, we're actually checking out some blue because that's in the tens place. So if we say this divided by 10, because that's 100, 10 times 10 gets us 100. Again, 10 times 10 gets us 100. 10 times 10 gets us 100. How many do we end up with here in that case is, we can write that down, we end up with a 3. So that's going to be 3 tens is equal to 30. So now think about that. 3 times 1 is 3. Here's our 3. And here's a 0, here's a 0, and that accounts for those two zeros. Let's go a wee bit bigger, shall we? Let's go ahead and go all the way down. Remember how I keep telling you that the problems get a little bit harder the further you go? Here's one that's actually got a couple digits in here, and we got six of those, so we're going to need six in the place value chart. So one row, column, sorry, two columns, three columns, four columns, five columns, six columns. And so when we color code this, we know that green is going to be the ones place. And here's the tens place, here's the hundreds place. Then we start over kind of equal to one when we say how many thousands? Oh, well, there's one thousand. And then we've got blue for the hundreds, or sorry, for the tens. Here's ten hundred thousand. Oh, ten thousand. It's going to go here. And then we go into the hundreds, which we've got a red. So here's 100. And then we've got 1,000, 10,000. Oh, and here's 100,000. So when we look at this, we see 600,000. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of those. 600,000. Now we've got 80,000, so that's going to be a blue. Let's grab a blue. And let's do our dot thing there. So one, I'm doing this wrong, am I not? I totally am. I've moved over and I'm in the thousands place now, which is not okay. We want to be in the ten thousands place, so we're over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's eight of those. And now what we're doing is we're saying how many thousands are in this, because we're dividing by a thousand. How many thousands does it take if this eight was here, eight thousand, we know it would be eight thousand, eight thousands, but hey, there's 80 of them. So that's going to be 80 thousands. And so the thousands place is right here. So this is going to become how many thousand? It'll be 80 of them. So we know that that's going to be kind of overflowing a little bit, right? So 80 of them. So that's going to be all the way over here in the tens place. So that's also two blue, right? So if we have 80 of them, 80 thousands. So we can look at this also too in another way. We can go cancel these three out. Cancel these three out. Hmm. So 68 times 1. So if you think about that, 68 times 1 
Let's see if that would work. 68 of those. So when we go to check our math, we can say 1,000 times 68. We've got to check it. 8 times 0 is 0. This is a 0. It looks a little like a 6, so I'll make it more 0-ish. 0, 0, 0. Did I do too many zeros? I did, so I'll just turn that into an 8. Because 8 times 0, 0. 8 times 0, 0. 8 times 0, 0. 8 times 1, 8. 60. Here's a 0 for our 60. And then we've got 6 times 1, 2, 3 zeros. 1, 2, 3 zeros. 6 times 1 is 6. So when we add this, we can go 0 here, here, and here. 8 and 0 is 8. 6 is just going to by itself. So we get 68,000. So we know it's going to be 68,000 if we say 68 times 1,000. So that is true then. So our answer then is we're going to have these eight are going to move on over because they lost their zeros. They're moving over to the ones place, all of them. So we can say they're all moving over. So then we're going to have eight of them over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them. And then in the tens place, because you're 80,000, it lost its zeros. So those are going to move all the way over to the tens place. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six of those. So our answer, like we came up with up here, 68. All right, let's take a look a little bit further down. These ones get a little bit more complicated. We can take a look here at black. We're going to have 18,000 divided by 200. And looking at their example over here, they had 18,000 divided by 10 to start with. And then they said by 2. So let's do the same thing that they did. And we'll go 18,000 divided by 10. And then divide that by 2. So we know if we go dividing it by 10, it's going to lose a place value. And we know 1 goes into 18, 18 times. And we still have two zeros along for the ride. Now we divide that by 2. 2 goes into 18 nine times. We've got two zeros along for the ride. Let's take a look at the next one. Very, very similar, except we have more zeros going on here. So we're going to be saying 18,000 divided by 1,000, because the 2's in the thousands place, divided by 2. We know that these 1, 2, 3 zeros take out these 3 zeros, leaving us with 18 divided by 2. 18 divided by 2 happens to be 9. So here, if you take out the 1,000, you end up with just your 9. Here we took out 2, and we ended up with 900. But wait a second, so did they. So could that still be true? Could that possibly be true? Did we take out enough zeros? Doesn't look like it, right? I missed that one. Let's scroll back up to where we were. So that's why this zero shouldn't be here. I made a mistake. Let's go to the hardest one. If we take a look at this one right here, this is the hardest one. And we know that we're going to have 450,000 divided by 9. What? 1,000? Oh, so when we go to divide, we know that's 1, 2, 3 place values it's going to lose. 1, 2, 3 place values it's going to lose. It's going to leave us with 450 divided by 9. So now when we think about that, we know that 9 times 5 gets us 45, and then we've got a 0 along for the ride. So that's going to be 50. When you look at that, this is thousands. This one is 100, so it's probably going to end up with another 0 in the answer. 
This one is dividing by 10, so it's probably going to end up with an even bigger answer, a zero in the answer. All right, we've hit the 10-minute mark on this. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have for tonight's homework. So it says divide and show your thinking. So you're going to be making, in terms of this, you're going to just kind of chart it out the way we just did. So an example, I'll do A for you, but then I want you to choose either B, C, or D. So on this one, if we have 17,000 divided by 100. So now you're going to think, oh, 100 into that. So we've got two zeros we're losing, two place values. That leaves us with 170 for our answer. These ones, however, down here, these ones it's going to go a little bit further because you're going to have 12,000 divided by, oh, a 10, and then divided by 4. Same thing applies to this one. This one's easier. These two are more complicated. So choose and bring your answer to school tomorrow for your homework. Thank you.